Hello. Ah, uh, we need some mushrooms. And that and pizza sauce and pizza bases. I'm starting with a new knit. I'm beginning with the sleeves for this one. Something a little bit different. I think like I've been making a lot of stuff that's like just one colour or like big blocks of three colours. Um not much like <laughs> change constant change during a project so we're going the complete opposite way and I'm blessing my future self with many ends to weave in <laughs> change colors frequently change things frequently keep the ADHD occupied <laughs> Escape boredom, avoid boredom. <laughs> Morning. Projects always feel good when you're just like kind of trying something like new or going out of your comfort zone or trying something and you're not sure what it's gonna look like. They excite me the most and I always feel like so, um, like you know fulfilled and satisfied <laughs> when I'm working on stuff and putting a little bit of extra brain effort into it instead of choosing like safe projects that I know will work out so I'm really excited to see how this one turns out I don't like pastels I hate pastels in fact <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Hello. Number one. Number two. As usual. Mismatched. Mm, I cannot resist making things look like uh, different. I'm really happy with how these turned out. I just think the colours are so cute. It is a little bit stressful starting with the sleeves because I just, um, I think I got to a point as well, like, I was like, okay, like, what do I do now? It's a good, I think it's a good challenge. I was working on uh, seven millimeter needles, so I've changed them to nine millimeters for the body. I don't know why I think I'm just wanting to experiment with something else because at the moment the idea of working with the seven millimeter needles so for some reason is like, <sighs> I can't, I don't want to, I can't be bothered. Um, even though it would be fine, 
so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, cause I honestly, I don't really know what, <laughs> I don't really know what my plan is. Before I go any further with this, I want to try this on. Because I'm looking at it, I'm like, it looks a little bit small. I'm not sure. I want it to be fitted, but I don't know if it's like fitted or like tiny. So, this could be something, you know. Oopsie whoopsie. I'm going to watch a horror movie and keep going on this. It's doing so well. I think I'm going to increase until it's kind of like up to here. And then you know, cast off, continue with the body, um, and then attach the sleeve somehow. But, yeah. Hello. I've been working tirelessly on this the last two days. I am going to connect the sleeves today. They need a bit of tidying up. And yeah, now that I've got this far, I think I am going with an off the shoulder thing. I'm planning on attaching the sleeves here. Just nature right over the shoulder. And it should all uh, work out beautifully. <laughs> working out rather well. <laughs> See this? This is the this is the whole thing of freehand. Is that before I had no idea what I wanted to do with these sleeves and so you just okay I'll just bind it off and then it informs your next decision and so now it's like I can see way clearer what I want to do with it and where I want to go with it because now it looks like a finished sleeve. It doesn't look like that. <laughs> I'm going to seam them together. See how it looks. If I hate it, I'll just undo it. The verdict is in. I've seamed together our underarm. Um, and so the sleeve is attached to it, and I think I like it. And that's how you weave an ants. <laughs> 